Hey everybody, Kai here back for another daily shave for West Coast Shaving. So gear for today, gonna be going with my Wolf Whiskers. This is a custom with a 28 millimeter tip knot from uh, Turn and Shave. Going to be going with my favorite razor. <laughs> this one is a 9 8 plus near wedge Spanish point. It's got a slight smile. Power scales and power inlay on the tang. Uh, so, like I said, this one's my favorite. I uh, love the smile on it, love the grind, um, just love the way it shaves. So, absolutely awesome. And so, for today, it's gonna be Ariana and Evans in collaboration with Gray Matter Perfumes, Little Fictions. So, <sighs> so the scent on Little Fictions. Uh, as described by Grey Matter Perfumes, it's meant to, I'm gonna just get loaded right here. It's meant to be reminiscent of uh, the, like kind of the landscape of Puerto Rico. So um, it's supposed to be kind of a transition from the forest to the beach. So it's kind of got some woodsiness to it with, uh, with like coconut. Uh, I know there's some ocean mist that's in there so it's a very nice scent very complex they did a fantastic job and it's a nice kind of tropical scent for uh for someplace like here so very fitting all right so that's the load i'm gonna go with get my face wet Take the excess from the tub. Just like to add the excess is kind of like a little bit of a, not really pre-shave, but pre, just get some of the lather worked in, kind of get the whiskers standing up using my hands. Allows me to just kind of add an extra layer that I'm working in. And then if you bloom your soaps, uh, I've seen people add the bloom water to their face as well. So that's another good one. All right. That's this song. Just going to dry off the tub. So this is, uh, the base is Peter's newer base. So um, earlier he came out with the goat's milk and lanolin, and then uh, he did a slight reformulation, adding uh, some ingredients to it. So I'm just gonna get lathered here. But one of the, some of the notable ingredients are uh, manteca or pig's fat. Uh, I know he added some, I believe it's some yogurt. Camellia oil. And that's the only ones that I really um, at least noticed just from memory, but he did add a lot of uh, a lot of good skin food ingredients to this newer base. The original goat's milk and lanolin base was already very top tier, but this one really just Took it to another level. Yeah, this soap is excellent because it can take a lot of water. I'm a big fan of my wide water banded soaps. I wouldn't say it's particularly thirsty. As, although this is not the sheenies lather, it's probably already good to go if you're someone who prefers a little more density, but I'm going to add some water to this. Add a bit more. Just 
just gonna add a little bit more water to my mug right here. So I don't have to dip so far down. Uh, scent strength of the soap. Peter typically makes his soaps pretty strong, so this one follows suit. I put it probably about a six and a half off the tub, and um, probably fairly close to the same once lathered. So well, that's looking pretty good to me. Might just maybe go for one more little dip and just paint that water in. when I clean off the excess from my face, do my best to try and get some of that lather back on, uh, onto the brush. That way, you know, I have enough lather, but don't really want to waste it <laughs> at the same time. It's great stuff. So I'm just gonna dry off the neck right here and get going. Sometimes I um, <laughs> I just blow on my fingers a little bit just to make sure they're real dry. Don't want wet hands when I'm working with my razor. Um, mostly because I don't want the razor to slip while I'm handling it, but also uh, to help and kind of preserve your razors, you want to keep them as dry as possible, uh, especially if they're carbon steel, which is going to be the most common type of steel that a straight razor is going to be made out of. There are uh, some razors that are made out of stainless. Um, you won't see that quite as much. Stainless steel doesn't take quite the uh, same edge. that carbon steel does. I can't speak from experience, just what uh, I've kind of heard in the community, but that's why you don't see so many stainless steel razors. They're just not quite as, uh, quite as good as taking a fine edge like carbon steel is, so. The nice thing about a stainless steel razor is it would really uh, make maintenance a lot easier. It's an excellent first pass. Soap has just fantastic slickness, fantastic residual slickness.
like I said, it's not all too difficult to dial in. Lost a little bit of louder. Just fell on my shirt though. And as usual, I'm just gonna kind of dip a little bit more water into here. So as I'm going through this shave, I'm noticing the scent is evolving a little bit. Uh, I do know there's some citrus notes in here. Can't really name them off the top of my head, but those are starting to come out a little bit more. So it's a very tropical scent, but uh, it's not overly fruity, thanks to the wood notes kind of grounding it. So it's very well balanced. I think I just lost a good amount of ladder right there. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay though. good Can I clean up my sink a little bit Drawing off my neck I always like to dry off the neck because um, I uh, don't want my hands slipping when I'm skin stretching right there. So I'll try to keep it nice and dry that way. Don't have to worry about that. Yeah, I love the way that smile kind of just works its way into the little, um, the hollows of my neck it just shaves so much easier like i said i have no real like issues using a straight spine razor it's just the slight smile just makes things a lot easier Yeah, for the most part, my hair growth is uh, very consistent. My hair grows from on my cheeks, it grows straight down. But once it gets to my chin, it shifts to uh, from chin to ear. And then on my neck, it does the same thing right here, goes straight down. But it's just right over in, right above my Adam's apple, it grows up. So I do have to alter my technique a little bit for that. Um, I can go, technically it's against the grain on my first pass. It's just that I really try to close my angle 
to make sure it's nice and comfortable. And then when I do my second cross screen pass, I uh, open up that angle a little bit more in order to get it nice and close. And then on this last pass right here, um, I really don't, don't go back over that area. Don't want to risk any irritation. As you can see, this lather is so nice and dense. Just going to add a little bit of water. Kind of try to maximize this hydration and slickness for this last pass. And then I'm going to do a uh, Ten laps on leather as well with the razor. Just gonna dry my neck off real quick. Alright. Ten laps on leather. Very good. Let me just dry off a little bit more. There we go. Very nice. Yeah, the chin area against the grain, kind of a more difficult area for me that I'm still trying to uh, perfect, but it's a lot of rolling. Um, you can kind of see if I show the scales a little bit more, you can see how much you kind of have to change that angle as you go against the grain on the chin. So uh, just try to practice that a little bit, maybe use um, like a, a butter knife or something just so that you can practice the rolling of the razor. Excellent shave so far. Very, very nice. And fool's pass, lastly. So when you do this, um, as always, uh, just do it with small strokes, uh, nice, controlled, nothing big. 
nothing too fast, you just want to go nice and slow. And that way, always in control of the razor, and you don't have to worry about losing your nose. So, oh yeah, that's an awesome shape. Absolutely love this formula. Post shave is incredible can definitely forego post shave product if you so choose. But I'm not gonna do that here. I'm going to pair it with the matching splash. And Peter's splashes are excellent too. Uh, great skin food, great face feel. And it's got enough potency to definitely kind of double as a cologne. Uh, I do believe this is available as an EDT or EDC, EBP, not sure what strength it's at but yeah that is just excellent no burn whatsoever goes on nice and easy so that's a great shave yeah some of the ingredients in here uh, so first ingredients aloe vera vegetable glycerin so those are both very nice for your skin uh, alcohol, rose, calendula, red clover extract, chamomile, uh, plantain leaves, white willow bark. So a lot of good, um, a lot of good kind of herbal ingredients in there or plant-based ingredients. So uh, I'm not exactly too sure, um, you know, what each ingredient does for you, but they just lead to a very, very nice face feel at the end. So uh, whatever they're doing. They're doing it really well. But uh, that's the shave, everybody. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one. See ya.